What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is ETA Joyful Plans and today we're doing a haul of a very random assortment of items <laughs> that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. I did try to pre-open some packages that are harder for me to open um, but I have not looked at or flipped through anything so we're just gonna get into it. Let me tell you what we are opening today. I have an order from Simply Gilded an order from Live Love Posh, an order from Amber Plans Her Day, an order from Emuse Designs, and what is this one? Oh, Designer Chameleon. So we've got some stickers, and then we have accessories. So let's start with the stickers. Sticker, sticker, stickers. We'll set aside the accessories and come back to those momentarily. And let's start with Designer Chameleon. This is a small order. Um, and yeah, I just was looking through her shop and saw some really cute stickers um, that Mandy had designed. Let me move my invoice out of the way. And so I only picked up a couple of sheets, but I just wanted them. And so sometimes I feel silly placing an order for just a couple of things, but I did that with Designer Chameleon and with Emu's Designs. I just picked out what I knew for sure I had to have. So again, this is from Designer Chameleon. And when I first started my Instagram account, she messaged me, like she saw my stuff and was like, oh, I'd love to like send you stickers, you know, for you to show on your platform. And it just, yeah, she was kind of the first person to um, take a, uh, uh, I guess a chance on me um, as, you know, give me an opportunity to be, to do PR stuff. And so, um, yeah, so I have a special place in my heart for Designer Chameleon. These are the sticker sheets that I picked up and they don't look like much, but can you see what these are? These are shelves. Now this is in a barn wood coloring, so it's darker and like, I wanna say more like driftwood coloring, so in the gray family. And then I got warm wood shelves that are as you can tell by the title, warm. And I just thought, given that I have so many plant stickers right now, I wanted to be able to put them on shelves. <laughs> and so when I was looking through her website and I saw shelves, I was like, are you kidding? Like just shelves? Yes, please. This is a decorative element that I am for sure going to be using all the time uh, in my planner. I might need to have just a whole I don't know, album just full of different colored shelves because I just think that these are great, great staples, especially if you are a plant lover and you like using those like potted plant stickers in your layouts. These wood shelves, y'all, Designer Chameleon. So that is where I got these. And she has a PR team that has, I think, 10% off or 15% off codes. So um, yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. And let's see, she included this little note. Let's see, so she designs her own stickers. She loves seeing how you use them. So if you do pick up some stickers from Designer Chameleon, make sure that you tag her. And then I guess if you scan these codes, you can see her website and her Patreon. She has Patreon. So these are from Mandy from Designer Chameleon. Highly recommend love these excited to use these let's look at amuse designs this was my first order from amuse designs um m is a gal that i've been following and have been a chatty with since again i started my instagram account and then she started a um sticker shop with uh her friend which i think has the same name she has the same name um and so really cute and she came out with Tetris stickers and you guys know that I am all about creating like like layouts as in like like scenes and like I don't know just really like cohesive like I want to open up my planner every week and when I'm flipping through it see like each week I'm on a different journey and so when I saw uh these stickers these Tetris stickers. I was like, oh, I have to do a Tetris spread um, because I just think it's the funnest thing. So I got two sheets of these. 
The sheet is called Everything's Falling Into Place. And I just, I can't, you guys. So some of these have been uh, pre-stuck together, but I just want to have fun in my planner. I want to play in my planner. And M has done that or has given us that opportunity with these sheets because these are all individual Tetris style pieces that I'm going to be able to like piece together however I want in my planner. And I just can't wait. Cannot wait. I don't want to waste this guy. Oh, make sure it sticks down um, to do a Tetris spread. I just think it's going to be rad. So super into it. Again, these are from Emuse Designs on Etsy. Uh, if I didn't say it already, Designer Chameleon has her own website. So designerchameleon.com and then Emuse Designs are over on Etsy. So those are the kind of one-off uh, sheets that I got from some small sticker shops. And let's get into a sticker book, y'all. I talked nonstop about this book over on Instagram, Summer Memories. Oh, I feel like, oh, did I get, hold on. I forgot, I ordered more than just the sticker. Oh, they're in there, okay. Let me move my invoice out of the way. I forgot that I also got some stickers. So, let's see what we got from Amber Plans Her Day. Let me make sure I have my invoice next to me. So we'll flip through the sticker book in just a moment. Let's look at the individual sheets I got. Because I, I hadn't placed an order with Amber for a minute, I wanted to make sure I looked through her individual sheets that I hadn't purchased from in a while. And so, a little thank you card. You're welcome, girl. You're welcome. Move these out of the way. Okay, so I picked up the Sage Florals sheet. And these are clear and look how just like neutral they are. Perfectly neutral. I just thought this was a really beautiful, subtle sheet. So I got this, this is in that matte transparent finish. Then I got the star, is this star fillers? Yeah, star fillers. I love adding accents like this to my planner. Uh, these again are clear matte or uh, matte transparent just to add like some flourishes, you know, add a little texture. So I love this one. And then the last one I got is dots. I know it doesn't look like much, but something about paint splatter, ink blots, splotchiness, like layered on top of decorative stickers to me is just a thing. And just so you can see the difference between the two, this is the stars, star fillers and dot fillers. So they are different in my opinion, but you could use them together. And I just thought these would be great accent sheets for my planner. Okay, summer memories. Uh, so she came out with two summer sticker books. This is meant to be more for memory keeping, but once we flip through this, you'll see why I love it so much. I love it because you can do full scenes, like fun illustrations, choose your own adventure style. I just uh, love it. So I could not resist this book. So we are starting off and there's just so many clear decorative stickers. It's just, yeah, I'm nuts. I'm goo goo gaga for this. Okay, first sheet is a lemonade sheet. So you can do a lemon spread. Oh my gosh. <gasps> then we have ice cream illustrations for an ice cream spread. Also, have you guys, have we talked about my tattoo? I think we have. If we haven't, I'll share it someday. Um, clear ice cream, clear, these are all clear so far, clear camping. So you can see where these would be great for memory keeping. If you go on a camping trip, you can add these fun camping stickers. If you go on any other trip, you've got travel stickers. Like this to me is a dream book. If you have a movie night or you go to the movies, you've got movie themed stickers. Oh, it's so good. Look, a fair, clear, fair, fair, I, mean, I was gonna say fairy stickers. Fair stickers, you got your little ticket booth, little carnival. These are kind of watercolor style. Then we've got floaties, pool floaties. They're just so cute. 
a barbecue. I mean, come on, you guys. Like, this book is just so good. Then you have the 4th of July. Then you have 4th of July colors. So if you wanted to do a mix of like some, a couple American flags and some balloons and some florals, you can mix them together. I love that this is two separate stickers. I've talked about this before in another sticker book. I love seeing this when they're separate because this can be just a drop shadow behind a box. And then this can be behind another box or you can put them together. Love that. Then we've got more kind of bright watercolor day at the beach. Beach, these are all clear. These have all been clear so far. Love the waves. I'm a beach girl. I'm from California, so you know this speaks to me. Look at this kind of aquarium, ocean theme stickers. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Campfire, s'mores. So you could easily mix this sheet with, where's the camping sheet? Wasn't there a camping sheet? This one. The colors are a little bit different. These are more kind of cool toned and these are a little bit warmer, but still mix and match. And then with summer memories, it leads back into the school year. So we've got the first day of school stickers. And then we get into the memory keeping element, the actual planning part. These are clear quotes and looks like these are very yeah, very summery. We've got campfire and s'mores, camping, hiking, adventure. Oh, so cute. This one's more related to like beach and sun and water. I love that Amber mixes up her fonts. I just, I love mixed font. I don't want it to be all script. I don't want it to just be handwriting. Like I like, I like the variance of fonts. I think it looks really cool, especially with clear quotes. Then we've got more that correspond with the illustration. So we've got the barbecue, the 4th of July, let freedom ring. Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So you put that with your, your lemon decor and your fresh squeezed lemonade, grilling and chilling. So I love that she's given us quote stickers that correspond with the deco stickers. Ice cream salts, everything. So doesn't that look cool? Like the lowercase um, with capped font and then with the script. It just looks nice. And none of these have, re have repeated so far. So all original quotes. Then we're getting into movies and going back to school. This is a summer bucket list of, yeah, these are summer bucket list items. Barbecue, lake, road trip, aquarium. So you could grab like one sticker from each of the sheets and kind of have that go with with each item on the bucket list cute great memory keeping prompts remember so much fun documented this is absolutely wonderful that she's provided these these are still clear and then I love these extra decorative flourishes I don't know if you can tell but they're the little black dots that you can kind of sprinkle around so I really appreciate that she's using up all the space and giving us functional decorative stickers down the center. Um, so we've got more, these are different, right? Yep, favorite part, today was, perfect day. So these are specific towards like day and these are maybe more kind of overall, overall summer experiences. Again, using up the center with extra zhuzhing. Okay, this is our first sheet of paper and she's used it perfectly. These are banner, header, decorative stickers. I love this. So you can say like day at the beach or um, you could put the date, whatever you want. I love that she's given us some kind of decorative title banners. I think those are really great. Oh, love these. These are clear arrows. So if you put down a picture and a quote or something, you can have, you know, a squiggly arrow pointing from the quote to the picture. Um, I love the look of this. This is such a great sheet. Very functional and cute for designing memory keeping pages. 
And then we get to super functional black boxes. And what's cool about these, they're all lined. They're all lined for journaling. So you've got plenty of space for writing down your memories. And even if you're not, I'm not a memory keeper person. I don't keep up with it, but I might want to, um, especially when the baby's born. And so this is definitely going to give me, um, yeah, going to give me all kinds of fun uh, decorative options for, for being more intentional with my memory keeping. Absolutely love. This is a different shaped box. And it's just kind of a long one. I kind of like that she did that, probably just to fill it in, you know, still wanted to give us some sticker space. Cute, cute, cute. So that is Summer Memories. This is a standout book. Oh, and she started putting the titles up at the top. So that is really nice. It'll show um, in its when it's standing up in my, my sticker book uh, storage box. Okay, love that. That was Amber Plans Her Day. So just to show you again, I got the sticker book and then I got these three uh, matte transparent decorative sheets. So that was Amber Plans Her Day. Let's open this guy. And I think for this, I'm going to want to grab some um, discs. Whoop, whoop. Little teaser, little teaser for what's inside. Okay, so I placed a Live Love Posh order for two sticker books a few weeks ago. I already did a flip through of those. It's up on my channel now. And then she noted on Instagram that she was coming out with new covers. And I was like, what? I just placed an order, girl. I just placed an order. What are you doing to me? Um, but I just, I am a sucker, 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 sucker for deluxe covers. In fact, I am planning to do a uh, deluxe covers YouTube video. So stay tuned for that um, where I kind of show my collection, but just different places you can get deluxe covers. So I had to pick up a mini uh, white, what was it? White Croco cover because I didn't have anything like it. And I just, I had to, I just had to. I have a good amount of classic sized uh, deluxe covers, but I just, yeah, I was like, I need, I need a mini. So I can't remember, did I buy the top tabs? Top tab. Oh, I did. Okay. So I picked up, let's, let's look at the cover first. So ooh, this is different than I was expecting. It's a lot thinner. Okay. So this is the simply white Croco cover. It's in a mini. It actually feels really nice, but it is a lot thinner than I thought. So it still has a little bit of a bend, but it feels more luxe than just a laminated cover. So, and then it's got Live Love Posh down at the bottom in gold. Oh my gosh, that is really cute. So let's, so I grabbed this because I wanted to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's grab seven of these. I wanted to see what this would look like. Um, with discs on so you guys could see the whole kit caboodle. So she had, she came out with these in white and it's not white. This is definitely cream. It's a cream color, not a true white, which I'm actually relieved that it's not a true white because I, I wanted the white, but then I was like, that's going to get dirty so fast. Um, but now that I see that it's a little bit more of a cream color, um, I think it will hide, hide things a little bit better. Um, so they came out with this color, which they're calling white. And then they came out with a pink color. I don't know if it was pink or blush. Um, it looked pink. <laughs> so I just thought this would be so pretty again, because I have enough classic size covers. I wanted to get a mini just because I wonder if once the baby's born, I'll want to have a mini to keep in like my diaper bag that I would take on the go. Cause right now I don't have a planner that I take on the go. I have a mini planner um, that I use, but I don't really take it with me. And I'm starting to think I might want something on the go. So 
that is what it looks like with gold discs. And I'm glad this is in gold because that matches really well. Um, this was $15 for the mini size. I cannot remember what the classic size um, price was. I want to say it was maybe 22, something like that. So definitely more affordable than the Jane's Agenda covers. Um, but they're very different and I can tell that they're, yeah, they're totally different. So I will do a deluxe cover video, but, um, again, $15. And then because I wanted to start thinking about a mini setup, I went ahead and purchased, um, these top tab dividers that are fitting the mini and it, they come with labels, which is nice. I have a label maker. So if I don't like any of these, um, I guess these little prompts, I can change it out or if I wanna change the font, I can. But very cool that when you buy a divider set, it comes with the labels. Not everybody do, does this. So I was thinking the last time I bought divider tabs from cloth and paper, they didn't come with these. So I think it's cool that Jessica provides, provides that. So let's pop these in here. I'm not gonna put any of the um, labels on because I don't know what I'm going to use yet, but I wanted to just see what this would look like. Okay, so my one, hmm, my one gripe here is that, I don't know if you can tell, but the divider tabs pop out above the mini planner cover. Mini planner cover. I think that could be problematic because these could get damaged. I think with the Happy Planner stuff that I have, although I'm trying to think like with the deluxe covers I have and then like Happy Planner bookmarks, they still are, they're like flush with the top of the cover. So they are protected. So I'm a little, uh, I think this is kind of a design flaw. Personal opinion, uh, I'd like to see these inside so that they don't get messed up. But I will assemble this at some point and you guys will see what it looks like. But I can, I like it. I mean, I like the look of it. I like the aesthetic of it, um, but I'm a little nervous because if I throw this in my purse, I just could see uh, the tabs getting damaged. And I don't know if I'd want this sitting out with people knowing what, like, Heaven forbid I use the passwords tab or password sticker and I put it on here. Do you know what I mean? And I leave it out at a coffee shop. I would never do that. But like, even if I wanted to do like personal journal to do list, whatever. I, yeah, that's a very public thing to have for an on the go planner. So I need to strategize. I need to figure out how I want to do this. But I, this is really cute. It feels like it is well made. It is very bendy and soft. I like that it's not white as it's advertised. I like that it's more of a cream color. Um, but again, the, the cover was sold separately from the divider tab. So if this bothers you as well, maybe don't buy the divider tabs from here. So let's, oh no, I was gonna say we're done with my random haul, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet, friends, because we have Simply Gilded last. So from Simply Gilded, uh, I picked up, I think we're gonna need use some scissors. I picked up two albums, two more sticker albums, and another video I'll probably do. I talked about this a little bit. I, I compared the According to Alley albums with the Simply Gilded albums, and I don't know if that was a standalone video or if that was, um, ooh, standalone video, or um, or if that was part of another video, but ooh, that is way darker than I was expecting. Okay, um, but let's look at these first. Move my, actually, I'll open up my invoice just so I can give you a sense of prices. Oh, I forgot, they were doing, I think they were doing like a 20% off sale. Like it was like a birthday sale or something like that, so. Definitely got a deal. So I picked up two albums, a large, a mini, and then I picked up some washi tape. I have steered clear of the Simply Gilded washi tape because for the most part, they're known for their bows on their washi, and that is not my style. 
Um, I like textures and patterns, um, no foiling or anything like that. And so I've steered clear, but I saw this washi, it was on sale. And uh, I was like, well, that, that I can play with. So let me just show you, let's see what comes. This is cute. So it comes with a little card. It says, good morning. And it's just a blank card on the back. So you can leave a love note for someone, throw it in your kid's uh, lunch box or something. That's cute. <clears throat> then we've got some freebies, a little sampler freebie card. These are just little icons that are on, it looks like heart shaped. Yeah, heart shaped. Probably won't use these, but that's okay. I like the happy birthday one. So it must have been maybe, yeah, it was somebody's birthday. And so that's what that sale was for. So this is probably the sub, uh, special um, sampler freebie related to the birthday. Then we've got a little bow sticker with some hollow. And this is fun. Money, honey. This is just a, another um, bonus sheet of dollar signs. Okay, let's check out this washi I picked up. And I was like, I really want to try their washi. I, I don't have any of their washi. So I was like searching high and low for, oh wait, here it is. Searching high and low for washi that did not have foil and that did not have bows on it. Um, has anybody else kind of hesitated to buy Simply Gilded Washi because it's all the, all the uh, bows? They're really popular though. Like people collect the bow washi, but I just, I can't use it in my planner the way that I plan. So it just has never made sense for me to try it. But this washi, this is a really neutral, subtle animal print. Check that out. It's almost like a spotty dotty, but it's definitely animal print. Let's see if I can find the uh, opening. There it is. I just thought this was really cute. And I'm like, if I'm gonna try, if I'm, gonna, if I'm going to place a Simply Gilded order and they've got a sale going on, I might as well find one that I would like just to try their washi. All right, you guys see that? I think it's really nice. I'm very curious. It um, It's kind of hard to pull off and then the, there is a little bit of residue left behind on the roll. Just being honest, let's grab a piece of this and I'm gonna stick it on the back of this just so you guys can see the pattern. But that's cute, right? So this is called, if I can keep it in my hands, this is Natural Beauty Wild Oat Leopard Washi 15 millimeter. This was $2.75. That's a great price for a good sized roll of a textured patterned washi that I know that I will use. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, let's look at the albums. So I got two different sizes because I like both sizes because I use a lot of uh, JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop stickers. I have a nice collection from her. She has smaller sized sheets and they fit in the mini. So I love the size of the mini. I just think it's nice. This does have a little piece of plastic, so we'll pull that off. This one is called the Sage Floral in light gold. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me flip this over. Okay, it's supposed to be this way. I like that there's a little pocket over here. I wouldn't use it, to be honest, just because it'll pack it out too much, but I like the scallop edges just, edges just kind of add a little cuteness, a little cute cute. And then here are the sticker storage um, pockets. What I like about these versus the ones from According to Allie, and Allie doesn't have this size, so if you want this size, it's gonna be from Sim Simply Gilded. But what I like about these is they're double-sided and you put them in from the side. They are side side <laughs> entry um, uh, pockets. The According to Alley ones are top and it's just one open pocket. So I like that each sheet here has two separate sides so that you can you can put more in it, to be honest. And it's easier to get out, in my opinion. So love that. 
It says simply gilded down here at the bottom. And then there is a loop here if you wanted to add a little bit of a charm. But I'm not really sure why you would add a charm to a sticker album. So that's always kind of an interesting design element. So again, this is the mini sage floral with light gold hardware. And my thought was, let me show you the ones that I already have. Um, I wanted to find colors that would look good on the shelf together. They have a ton of different colors in this kind of vegan leather material, um, patterned and solid. And, uh, you know, they're ones that I like on their own. But I was trying to think as we move into my she shed slash office in the backyard, at the end of the summer, I'm gonna want things to look somewhat cohesive. So let me grab my other books just to show you, and I hope that these work together, we'll see. So this is the new one, um, and then this is the one I already had, and I just felt like they would, well, the metals are different, but I just thought color-wise they would look fine. And then I have this big one, in white and I thought hmm let's go with this navy one that looks more black so they don't necessarily match but they're definitely more uh, coordinated I guess because there were some that I was looking at uh, there was like a, a mustardy color a pumpkin -y color uh, and I just loved the colors alone, but I was trying to picture what would these look like on my shelf. And I thought that the navy and this floral would add a little bit of, you know, a little bit of extra extra with the design, but that from a shelf perspective, they wouldn't totally clash. Does that make sense? Anyways, so these are the ones that I already had. These are the ones that I picked up. Okay, so that was the mini, and then in looking at the packaging, just to give you a sense, the mini album is five and a half by five, vegan leather, there are 20 clear pockets, but you can put, it, uh, they're double-sided, so really you've got 40 pockets, right? Unless it's 10 and then, no, I think it's 20, 20 pages, but they're double-sided. Okay, so there is the sage one. Now, I thought this was going to be more, so it's deep navy and rose gold hardware. This looks almost black to me. Pretty darn almost black, which is a little disappointing because I wanted navy. I really did. But I will say, this feels like leather. This feels like leather more than this does, probably because this has a pattern on it, but this is luxurious. I mean, this is nice. And I think on YouTube, you can find people who have taken these, uh, these little metal things off and have turned these into covers because look, technically this would fit a mini happy planner. See that? Ooh. I don't want to destroy this one, but if I, if I ever find a clearance simply gilded photo album or someone gives me one, I would totally do a DIY and make a deluxe cover because look at that. It fits perfect, but you would do a little bit of damage. I've seen people, yeah, basically pry this off with pliers and it does leave a hole, but it can be done. So if you're curious about that, just uh, do a search on YouTube, uh, converting a simply gilded photo album into a deluxe planner cover. Cause yeah, I mean, it's almost tempting, isn't it? Cause this feels so luxurious. Love it. Okay, but here is the deep navy. It looks more like black. Just giving you a heads up if this is a, a color that you're looking for. Again, I love the side. I love, I love the side pockets. These fit, the, the large photo album fits a lot of different small shop uh, sheets. So here's Amber Plans Her Day. And then here is Amuse Designs. And then Designer Chameleon looks a little bit bigger, but I think these should still fit. Ooh, just, I think it might be just too big, but there's excess 
writing on these sheets. So you could easily, yeah, this is just, well, you can get it to fit. It's a bit of a squeeze and it's gonna wrinkle up. So I probably would just cut the top of this sticker sheet. But I have, let me look, let me look at this guy. This is the same size. I've got, oh yeah, I've got Caitlin Plans in here, Amber Plans Her Day, um, Designer Chameleon, Create with Mandy. Yeah, all of those kind of standard small shop um, sheets will fit in here. So I would just, you know, shop around. And if you're curious about which size album to get, let me grab this one. I can't remember what's in here. Um, yeah, this is a lot of smaller sheets. So these are Piper, little period pants, Brooklyn Sweets, uh, Piper Paper Company. I know for sure that uh, JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop would fit in here. I wonder if I have a JoJo sheet. I don't think I have one that's accessible. Um, but yeah, all of these kind of smaller sheets would fit in the mini. So just look through your sticker collection and yeah, figure out, oh, here's a JoJo's. This is JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. So the mini would fit these smaller sheets and then most sticker sheets will fit um, this big. All right, I think that is everything in my random haul. Let's pull everything out for the grand finale. So we have our new beautiful sticker albums. I would, I mean, I'm a, I'm a budget shopper, so I would wait for a sale, wait till you can find a code. Um, these guys retail for 17, these retail for 22. And I did put in a code that saved me uh, like eight bucks, something like that. So there are those guys. And then the washi. So that was Simply Gilded. Let me make sure you guys can see. Yep, okay. So there's a Simply Gilded. And then we've got the Live Love Posh, the new cover and the top tab dividers. We've got Amber Plants Her Days, Summer Memories, and then her deco sheets, which are super cute. Then we have Emuse Designs Tetris stickers, fun, and Designer Chameleons uh, shelves for all of my plant stickers. That is everything in this random haul. I hope this was fun just to see the stuff that I picked out and hanging out with me. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I purchased all of these items myself. Oh wait, this is the wrong, Elizabeth, who are you right now? I have random washi all over the place. This is the one from uh, Simply Gilded. Um, oh, what was I saying? So I purchased all of these on my own. I always am looking for PR codes. I always use affiliate links. So, you know, just know that if I'm, if I ever ask y'all to use one of my affiliate links, know that I'm doing the same thing for other people just because because we can. So um, yeah, I hope that this was helpful. Feel free to shop all of these shops, any of these shops. They are great shops. I always, always, always encourage you guys to shop small when you can. Look for deals when you can. Um, value the women who have put together these items as well. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, until next time, friends. God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. Come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It's always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again, I would love if you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and we'll do it again sometime. Until then, friends, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.